Oh man, the worst job I ever had was this. I, I worked as a uh, at a machine shop, and in there's these little square pegs that would come into this machine, and I'd have to sit and watch it, and it would grind them down into rivets that were later to be put in airplanes, and I would have to grab every like 30, 40th one and and measure it with a micrometer, uh, micrometer I guess, and and make sure the machine was doing its job. If it wasn't, if it was off a little bit, I had to, and I would just come home smelling like this grinded aluminum metal and oil, and it was a smell that you couldn't get off, and I had to be there at 4 a.m. in the morning. It was fucking terrible. It's working for one of those labor companies where, you know, you just sign up between tours and look for work and having to, uh, like, nighttime security at some stupid, like, computer show or something like yeah. that. When I was a kid at uh, McDonald's, I hated it. I hated it. But I was there for a few months and they fired me. <laughs> I've had so many jobs. You know, I worked in an industrial bakery and sheet metal fabrication and dozens of restaurants. But I could never be out front. I was always doing dish, you know, dishwashing and prep cook and all that. Well, I had one job before I became a musician. And I was kind of a janitor at a school. But it was so easy, you know, I just went there after school, opened doors and then like, Adults would come in for their classes like nighttime, and then when they went home, I locked the doors, and that was that was it. It was it was, and it, you know, it paid surprisingly well. And I had that gig for years when we were starting. You know, when the band was starting, I was still doing it. So, but yeah, I, I never had a like a bad job. Probably teaching guitar. Out of all of that, like I hated it because I just wanted to play. I just didn't, you know, have to dissect it and and articulate it as some bored kid. I just. You know, the days went on forever. I never really uh, worked. I never really had a job, you know? <laughs> the worst one, I, I had to say waiting tables at Steak and Shake. It was probably the worst job I've ever had. I lived in a cabin at some point where I was completely broke, but I was playing music and, and I built my own house and I lived there for two years. So uh, uh, that's what I would do instead of go and get a job. I would build a little house in the forest and live there. I got a job doing prep in the food court of a mall that I won't mention the name of the place but uh, yeah that was probably the worst job I had which I had for about three months I dealt in human excrement he's actually we great 12 foot stars. long shit pumps <laughs> with like plastic bag around me and bag bear hugging them pulling panties out of the impeller and the impeller <laughs> you have no idea what I've been through <laughs> I was working at a restaurant and the owner was an absolute asshole, if I'm allowed to say that. Uh, yeah, just terrible, terrible. Typo saved me from one. We went on a road. Typo is a pretty rough job. Yeah. <laughs> Typo for almost 20 years is definitely rough.